Hello viewers, this is Ajit Khan and in this video we are going to learn how to use Ajax in our Rails application. So to get started with, we, are, we have two drop downs. One is for selecting a class and another one for selecting a section. So after selecting a particular class and then selecting a section, we are going to call Ajax function to populate the list of student in this area so let's have a demo of it I'm selecting a class and then a section and the list of the student get populated without loading the page so let's see how we are going to do this so we are going to display a page on the on which uh, two drop downs are there okay so these are the drop downs one is for class and one is for section okay so this list are getting populated from from two constant variable okay so these are the two drop downs and we are going to display the result in this div with id result div okay. so on the selection of this particular section drop downs we are going to call the ajax function so on selecting uh, option from drop down of section on the change of that drop down we are going to call ajax function and we are going to send some data to this url and this url is update student list so we need to define an action corresponding to this path in the controller so and we are sending the data c name and s name so these are getting populated from the selected option from the drop down so these two variables are going to get passed to the to the con to this uh, url so we need to define this url in the routes.rb file so here it is so we need to define that route here as well and one more precaution we need to take is we need to define this route before all other uh, all other uh, all other routing paths of student model so we have defined the routing for our path and uh, next we are going to create a corresponding action in the controller so we have the action update student list in this action we are going to select from the database corresponding list of student uh, on the basis of class and section we have passed from our drop downs so this is the instance variable on which uh, in which i am going to grab the data so on from the model student i am going to select all the students who have class with the parameter c name and section with parameter s name so uh, you may have some other conditions as well as I am having here so it depends you can have multiple condition here and we are going to send the response in .js format so as uh, in Rails for a particular action a corresponding view is rendered out so for this uh, for this user defined that means defined by us for this action a view will get rendered and we need to make this view so this view is going to be a javascript view so we need to make a view named update student list dot js dot erb so the name has to be same as the action name update student list dot js dot erb so when the ajax function call this url Con this controller will get called up and this controller after executing these lines will render the corresponding view and this is the view and in this we are going to do for the result view where we need to display the result add the html thing which are being placed here so we are going to dis uh, we are going to display in this div a file name show student so this is uh, 
we will be showing a page inside inside our page so it is going to be a partial view so we need to make another file underscore show underscore student in which I am going to list out the student so when the controller is being get called and this action get called update student list it will call the update student list dot js dot erb and this will render this partial show student which we have created underscore show underscore student dot html dot erb so this is taking uh, this is taking us in the instance variable being populated in the controller action so student with class if this is empty then it will display no records to display as it will create a table with all the entries ok so as simple as that so let's have a look how it is working so this is our main view and this is the view of our result so let's select kg2 class in section and the result get populated here and as you see if no records are available say for some another it will show no records to display so to wind up uh, let me give a quick summary we have two drop downs and on this change of this section drop down we are calling a jax function which is calling this url and passing this data so this url should be listed in the routes.rb file so we have list out this and when this action will be called we need to define this action in the controller so here we are grabbing the data on the basis of those parameters and after this when this action will be called the corresponding view will get rendered so the corresponding view is update student list.js.erb which is rendering a partial in which we are going to display the whole list of the students and if you want to display a simple message then we can place in this double quotes and as my code was long so I made a partial for it and rendered the partial here and made a separate file for that partial so this is the partial in which we are going to list out all the students so this is all with using ajax in the rails application and the code snippet and the complete process you may also find on my blogs okay thanks for watching